Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm coming at you with a negative one video. Negative one, hello, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, <laughs> glad to be here. There you go. Uh, we're doing another KC Cup video. As you guys know, stage two will be starting next week. Um, we already know it's going to be auto, motto, mayhem. There's no question about that. That's, that's going to happen. Uh, but... We decided to sit down and maybe talk about some uh, some dark horse decks. You know, I don't want to call it necessarily call them rogue tier because they're not necessarily rogue tier decks. It's more decks that you should be aware of going into Casey Cup that may actually have a pretty good Casey Cup in, in terms of top 100 decks. Um, negative one, you said you're still not even sure if you're going to play Casey Cup. What do, what do you think? Or last time we spoke, you said you weren't sure. What are you thinking about now? You thinking about Casey yeah, Cup? Yeah, so... I like playing Casey Cup. I... I would like to, you know, qualify for Worlds. That's a goal. <laughs> yeah. um, you know. Uh, but this one, it's going to be a lot of automat, so mm -hmm. I'm a little... But yeah. It's actually interesting. They don't they don't invite the previous World participants back, right? I think Cairo was talking about something like that on Twitter. You have to actually recompete in KC Cup. Yeah, you have to... <laughs> <laughs> you have to qualify again. Hey, you know, so. they're the ones making the tour. But anyway, getting into the uh, the decks themselves. Uh, starting off with um, a little bit, you see it in tournaments here and there, but not everyone talks about it in this metagame. Thunder Dragons, this is actually technically one of the oldest decks in the metagame. Tell us a bit of Thunder Dragons. Yeah, so Thunder is, uh, it's pretty old. One of the more meta Dark Horse decks, mm -hmm. but... Uh, you know, it does get a lot of tournament, you know, representation, but doesn't always top them that much. Doesn't in tournaments, or you know, so it's, uh, it's not really. If it is somewhat known in in like tournaments. Yeah, it's more so of a. It's more of a. They, when they win, it's like, oh man, they how <laughs> they get all the through the, all the automats, all the necro valleys, everything like that. But it is a deck that can just high roll through a tournament, right? Yeah, and generally decks like that may have some trouble in events where they have to, you know, consistently be winning. Otherwise, they drop out. Mm -hmm. However, in a KC Cup, the consistency issues of some of these strategies kind of falls favor of like the power output of right that makes sense um yeah i mean thunder dragons they actually i think they went undefeated in kcgt too right uh, the first stage that was basically kc cup rules <laughs> yeah yeah there was like one or two decks so that's one of them uh we also got uh yo Sinju's, one of my i would say like probably fourth or fifth favorite deck in duel links uh, which comes to a little surprise that you brought this deck up. Why don't you tell us a bit about that? Uh, I think Yosanju might um, really Yosanju struggles with uh, a lot of trap heavy decks. However, Onomat having you know <laughs> acro removal and like very aggressive play style, mm. it's kind of moved a lot of the trap decks out of the game. Mm -hmm. And we'll also mention some other decks that later. There you go. Yeah, Yosinju, so, they got Yosinju yeah. Sword Sting. Um, OEM's a really nice hand trap that uh, it's actually kind of hard to play around for quite a bit the meta right now. Um, so should be an interesting deck to see come in. Trimids, you're like the Trimid master. You're always topping with Trimids in KC Cup. Well, what's up with Trimids, man? Why are they so good? Trimid, uh, so... Last September, KC Cup. Mm -hmm. And that was because Trimid was really good against Trunade. However, <laughs> last, however, last year we had to deal with Trunade. This year, we don't. Yeah. So... Um, some of the strength of Trimid is taken away a bit because more people will be running, you know, MST and Cosmic Cyclone instead of Hey Trunade. I, I think it's less likely that it will win. However, it's still pretty consistent, you know. 
So the the thing though with them is 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 they did get played in KCGT, but they didn't, I don't feel like they won that much, did they? It was more in KC Cup that they were getting the victories, probably because of the True Nate thing that you're talking about. Yeah, so in KC Cup they were getting more victories. Yeah. Um, like the tournament. Um, I think some people were more so using it because I need to run, you know, three decks, and mm -hmm. therefore I can't. Matt, so um, some concessions are made, and Trimid is pretty good at using cards that other decks are not. Right, so, you know, makes sense. Uh, Cyber Dragon, that's the next one that we have up. Cy go Cyber Dragon Core. A lot of people would argue that this isn't a dark horse, but really in tournaments and stuff like that, they they do tend to it, like either either one will top and win the whole tournament, or none will top and people forget that the deck even exists. But in KC format, they always yeah. show up. <laughs> so tell us a bit about Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon, I I think if you've been around the game for a long time, you yeah. know, there's no need to introduce the deck. But <laughs> oh no, Cyber Dragon is a super aggressive, high in OTK through anything. Mm -hmm. The major drawback is the consistency. You know, it's kind of fragile. It's high power hands, and for that reason, it can uh, kind of at times or just not perform well in tournaments. Mm -hmm. Didn't it win the last like KC Cup? Technically, take first spot wasn't a Cyber Dragon deck, I think, or was it? Uh, yeah. So I think first place was Cyber Dragon. Second was Luna Light and third one. Uh, third place was Ana Man. So there you go, perfect. Gray segue. Luna Lights. Talk a little bit about Luna Light. So Luna Light uh, has a pretty decent Ana Mat matchup. I'm when Ana Mat had access to Old Bug Rhinosibus. It was <laughs> very difficult for succeed because of the non-targeting removal mm. however with limited get rid of saber dancer flew into light yeah i mean what do they have they have like sword breaker then that's sword it. breaker if onomat runs sword breaker then it's super difficult for yeah. Luna light to win uh -huh. however if you look at any of the lists that people run with onomat mm. pretty popular it doesn't come up um, a lot of people might not even run it in the main deck when we'll just run it in the side deck, so. Okay, okay. If you're looking at uh, playing that, uh, if you're playing Automat, you have to consider, am I going to see enough Lunalite in my extra deck? Yeah, because what do they or take, is it what do they take to out run of the extra deck? Else? It's a... Uh, Everything in the automat extra deck is valuable, so you have to consider <laughs> gonna run this, what will win me the most mm -hmm. games. Right. Yeah, because in tournaments you get the side deck, you just put it in there, but KC Cup, baby, you gotta make those choices. I'm, I'm either lose to this or lose to that, so I don't know. Me personally playing stage one, I've run into so many Luna Lights already. I'm just saying, boys, pack that, pack that sword breaker. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much all of the dark horses that come to mind. Any any other overall thoughts on on matchups with these decks and automats or anything spicy? Uh, I think some of these decks can uh, do pretty well against automat. Maybe not, you know, against automat just because automat is such a yeah. I mean. It's just gonna be the deck, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's it's just gonna be the go-to deck to beat. That's 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 the name of the game. But hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll see a good participation for these decks uh, in the top 100. Um, but for you guys, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you're gonna play in KC Cup. And uh, I I think that's that's pretty much it. Negative one. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your adoring fans out there? Love you guys. <laughs> there you go. He's going to be number one KC Cup. Going to take Worlds by storm this time. Quote me. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, all right, boys, you take it easy. Peace out.